Structural organization in animals. In the preceding chapters, you came across a large variety of organisms, both unicellular and multicellular, of the animal kingdom. In unicellular organisms, all functions like digestion, respiration, and reproduction are performed by a single cell. In the complex body of a unicellular animal, the same basic functions are carried out by different groups of cells in a well-organized manner. The body of a simple organism like Hydra is made of of different types of cells and the number of cells in each type can mean thousands. The human body is composed of billions of cells to perform various functions. How do these cells in the body work together? In multicellular animals, a group of similar cells along with intercellular substances perform a specific function. Such an organization is called a tissue. You may be surprised to know that all complex animals compo- consist of only four basic types of tissues. These tissues are organized in specific proportion and pattern to form an organ like stomach, heart, lung, heart and kidney. When two or more organs perform a common function by their physical and or, or chemical interaction, they together form organ system that is digestive system, respiratory system etc. Cells tissues, organs and organ systems split up the work in a way that exhibits a division of labor and contribute to the survival of the body as a whole. Animal tissues. The structure of the cells vary according to their function. Therefore, the tissues are different and are broadly classified into four types, epithelial, connective, muscular and neural. Epithelial tissues. We commonly refer to an epithelial tissue as epithelium. This tissue has a free surface which faces either a body fluid or the outside environment and thus provides a covering or a lining for some part of the body. The cells are compactly packed with little intercellular matrix. There are two types of epithelial tissues namely simple epithelium and compound epithelium. Uh, Simple epithelium is composed of a single layer of cells and functions as a lining of four body cavities, ducts and tubes. The compound epithelium consists of two or more cell layers and has a protective function as it does in our skin. On the basis of structural modification of the cells, simple epithelium is further divided into three types. These are squamous, cuboidal, columnar. The squamous epithelium is made up for single thin layer of flattened cells with irregular boundaries. They are found in the walls of blood vessels and air sacs of lungs and are involved in functions like forming a diffusion boundary. The cuboidal epithelium is composed of a single layer of cube-like cells. This is commonly found in ducts of glands and tubular parts of nephrons and kidneys and its main functions are secretion and absorption. The epithelium of proximal convoluted tubule PCT of nephron in the kidney has microvilli. The columnar epithelium is composed of a single layer of tall and slender cells. Their nuclei are located at the base. Free surface may have microvilli. They are found in the lining of stomach and intestine and it help in secretion and absorption. If the columnar or cuboidal cells bear cilia on the free surface, they are called ciliated epithelium. Their function is to move particles or mucus in a specific direction over the epithelium. They are mainly present in the inner surface of hollow organs like bronchioles and fallopian tube. Some of the columnar or cuboidal cells get specialized for secretion and are called glandular epithelium. They are mainly of two types, unicellular consisting of isolated glandular cells, goblet cells of the alimentary canal and multicellular consisting of clusters of cells, salivary gland. On the basis of the mode of pouring of their secretions, glands are divided into two categories namely exocrine and endocrine glands. Exocrine glands secrete mucus, saliva, earwax, oil, milk, digestive enzymes and other cell products. These, these products are released through ducts or tubes. In contrast, endocrine glands do not have ducts. Their products called hormones are secreted directly into the fluid bathing in the gland. Compound epithelium is made of more than one layer, multi-layered of cells and does has a limited role in secretion and absorption. Their main, functions is, their main function is to provide protection against chemical and mechanical stresses. They cover the dry surface of the skin, the moist surface of the buccal cavity, pharynx, inner lining of ducts of salivary glands and of pancreatic ducts. All cells in epithelium are held together with little intercellular material in nearly all animal tissues. A specialized junctions provide both structural and functional links between the individual cells. Three types of cell junctions are found in the epithelium and other tissues. These are called tight, ethering and gap junctions. Tight junctions help to stop substances from leaking across the tissue. 
एडिनिंग जंक्शन परफॉर्म सीमेंटिंग टू कीप नेबरिंग सेल्स टूगेदर गैप जंक्शन फैसिलिएट द सेल्स टू कम्युनिकेट विद ईच अदर बाय कनेक्टिंग द साइट टू प्लाज्मा ऑफ एड जॉइंग सेल्स फॉर रैपिड ट्रांसफर ऑफ आइंस स्मॉल मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड समटाइम्स बिग मॉलिक्यूल्स थैंक यू